morning. Another repair job today. It's uh, almost six o'clock in the morning. Going up to Logan, Utah to add a knife blade disconnect to a solar panel installation. Made it, just drove a hundred miles. There's a solar panel system that's already installed and I'm adding a knife blade disconnect. The contractor fought for months about whether they needed a actual knife blade disconnect or whether the minor panel and the breaker was adequate means of disconnect for the solar panel system. So that's the uh, end phase combiner where the run comes down, comes across here to the meter and then the inspector drew out where he wants that disconnect. Uh, I'm going to undo everything, add in the disconnect and then reconnect it all. I'm grabbing all my tools right now, but what I'm really excited about is testing out my flex drill i haven't had a real chance to test out the hammer drill feature and to see how we do on brick so i'm gonna get this ready to go and then throw in some anchors and really surprised with the turbo mode the speed the hammer drill feature it just busted through that old brick and it was really quick throwing that in impact driver i've been able to use that a lot more and i love it it has a lot of trigger control and a ridiculous amount of power despite the weight. I'd also have to do a shout out to Diamondback. I'm rocking their new pants, testing them out, and they're awesome. Not to mention the whole tool belt setup I got going on, testing out a lot of their different bags and products, trying to find the perfect setup for a solar electrician tool belt. I got the disconnect added um, right here next to the meter where the inspector wanted it, exactly how they wanted it. Let me know in the comments how you would have installed this system. I'm curious on what's the best practice would be. In the main panel, you have this breaker that'll disconnect the system. The disconnect I added, that'll disconnect the system. And then you have one breaker for each of the circuits. Wasn't too bad of a job, just take, took me a couple hours to get it done. I have mixed feelings about the situation because I feel like it's completely unnecessary personally to have this on this install it's less than 10,000 watts there was two forms of disconnect already on site with the uh, 220 amp breakers uh, for the two solar circuits and then the main um, 30 amp breaker so it's a little bit redundant because now we have three different means of disconnect within 10 feet of the main panel uh, I understand there's different benefits to a knife blade disconnect. It's considerably, you know, considered a little bit safer. Um, it's more accessible and it is lockable. Um, if anybody has more clarification on the code in their area, I'd be interested to see what they think. Utah is actually a really cool place for solar panels and solar panels produce a lot more electricity here than what people think. So in Northern Utah, we're pretty high elevation we have mountains we get a lot of snow and it can be really cloudy there's something called temperature coefficient that is uh the thermal properties of a solar panel you'll see it listed on all solar panel spec sheets but that is a measurement of how much efficiency is lost in a solar panel as the temperature increases it actually can work in a way that as the temperature decreases the solar panel will actually get more efficient a solar panel is tested for their standard test conditions um, where they have a certain angle modification a certain uh air mass ratio um a thousand watts per meter square all all the different flash testing variables are put together and the solar panels tested well as the temperature gets hotter or colder it changes how efficient that solar panel is so we have these days that are short they're really cold they can be cloudy but when the sun does come out these solar panels produce a lot of electricity well i'm gonna head back to the next job site i got about an hour drive so better get to it definitely want to stick around and check out some of the scenery because utah is a beautiful place Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate you checking in and following these vlog series. I'm really excited and optimistic that we'll see the standardization of the solar industry where there's a set way to do something that has been proven and works to make everybody's job easier. I'm excited to see this industry grow and to see what comes in the coming years.